Hello, welcome if you are new and if you are coming back, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia and we are back with the Star Sign Legacy episode 2. I just loaded into my game and she was sleeping. She looks very refreshed and like she's about to have a great day. But if we zoom on out, um, the gremlins have attacked once again and everything is broken again. Woo! Um, <laughs> so she's going to call some uh, repair service and we are going to get some leftovers because it is 3 a.m. and we are wide awake. Last time it only costed us about 150 simoleons so we should be cool with that and i still need to get that wedding ring off her hand my goodness okay it'll be here soon thank goodness all right well she's gonna enjoy her eggs and toast while we wait on someone to fix all of her stuff now i know it's not going to be worth it to clean up because she's like disgusted um but i think we might change into our athletic wear and go ride the fitness bike for a little bit. I think that'd be, probably be a good use of our time since literally all of our electronics are broken. Um, let's see. How are we doing for work? We are doing pretty good and we go to work at eight o'clock. I'll probably have her work hard to see if this bar can go up quickly so we can get a promotion because I would love to get a promotion by the end of the episode today. So let's change into our athletic wear and we'll work out on our bike and I know this bike is super loud in my headset I at least have it turned down for you guys okay let's look at our wants here we've got listen to s pop and win a competitive game we could probably do at least one of those things let's see so we get off or get three depending on how we feel we get off might see if some of our friends can hang out. I say I would love to get closer to Trinity. Emerson's basically our bestie. Archer's also our friend, so that's always good. I do kind of want to become friends with Luca. I think he'd be a cool person to get to know in India too, but I don't think we are vibing with India as much as I thought we would. Oh, I guess she's done. I say the way she fixes these appliances, it's very scattered. It's like she'll do one in one room, one in the next. Although I will say I am pretty excited. Our last day of school before break is tomorrow. So pretty pumped. I don't really have to teach too much. I think the only grade I might see is eighth grade, uh, but they do have something in the morning. So I may or may not see them. Um, and then the afternoon is, um, we're doing a little school-wide event. So I don't see any of my classes, but I'll get to see the whole school. And I do have a job to um, blow the whistle when it's time to change stations. Um, Ma'am, there's plenty to do. Thank you. Okay, we're going to pause the mopping so you can poop, please. Thank you. The shower still needs fixed up, but we could potentially shower after work. Um, let's change. I know we won't be in this outfit for that long. Let's go every day. The first one. Watch Politicim. Sure. I am excited because at the end of this week, uh, me and my husband are throwing a white elephant party with some of our siblings and our friends. And we got a bunch of stuff. We, we got an extra tree for the basement for all the white elephant gifts to go under. Um, and some decorations for that tree. And got a little drink dispenser that's in the shape of a tree so cute and some like serving dishes for some of the the food we're going to provide i went to the grocery store today to get our groceries for the week and to get our food items for our treats and drinks so super pumped about that off she goes miss angry pants see you after work oh i forgot to make her work hard but she's back 182 basically covered our repair cost um but that's okay it's all right let's kind of get our hygiene and everything all set up now if you guys know a way to get rid of that gremlin trait that would be awesome oh shoot he did go on a date with her congrats good for you bud anyways yeah if you guys know like a mod to get rid of that lot trait that would be awesome because i would love to stay in this apartment more but if we're gonna keep having issues with the gremlins like 
we're not going to make any money. Um, I think what I might do before we uh, eat food here, I might invite, mm, well, maybe we eat food here first. Let's invite over Trinity and Emerson. Let's see. Yeah, invite to hang out at current lot. And we'll invite over Trinity and Emerson. We'll serve some lunch. Let's serve some BLTs. We'll just have them over for just a little bit to hang out. And then we can maybe check out the Stargazer Lounge, which is technically a nightclub now. Hmm. I forgot she's pregnant. Oopsies, maybe the nightclub's not the place for you to go, girl. That's rude, Trinity. Don't even come over. Are you joking me? I could tell. I could tell from here. You're supposed to be my girlfriends that I go out with, and you're just gonna get pregnant on me, both of you. I gotta check Trinity out here. Yep, there it is, a little, little baby bump. <sighs> it's gonna be two single moms living it up. <gasps> yeah, why are you doing that? Oh my god. Like she's pregnant. She's obviously not into you, dude. It's probably just because you're feeling flirty. That was so out of character. I mean, does she even think she's cute? Basic looking. So why are you doing that? Let's see. What do we think of Akira? Basic looking. I feel like he would be a, a pretty good match. Maybe test it out. Marcus. You think he's unattractive. And he's... And he's already married off to Dina. Are you kidding me? Like, things happen so fast in the the game are you joking i say i thought we were i think we were, we got along with skylar <gasps> no way you were not liking it you're supposed to be our bestie ask her about her day i'm gonna try to make a new friend we might just have to go out by ourselves and see what happens you almost done with your food so we can go to the stargazer lounge please let's put that away clean up so we can come home to a clean apartment so then travel um, by myself. Thank you very much. We'll see what happens. Okay, Stargazer Club. And here we are. A good old Nancy Land Grab. We'll say hey, why not? Oh, so many people. Hello? But I will say it. Hello? Um, hmm. What should she say? I mean, there's no rules about getting married or divorced or anything like that. It's just that you have to, like, you can't initiate it. The other person has to. The thing is, I just don't want to rush it. I'm just going to say under what conditions and get that $2,500. Now, while we chat with her, let's dance with Nancy. Why not? We got the hot tub in the corner, too. Candy, you're pregnant. Like, you're the epitome party girl here in town. Whose baby are you pregnant with? Of course it's Don Lothario. Gross. Anyways, Skylar, I don't think you're supposed to be like dancing up behind the bar. Let's order a drink, why not? Let's see, let's order. Let's get a sea splash, why not? Oh my gosh, and I just realized her drink matches her outfit. She's so cute. We'll get Nancy in the picture too, because why not? Oh my lord have mercy. Where are you going? You've never played piano in your life. Why are you trying to go play piano? Is anyone else, like, cool here that we can chat with? No. No. Oh my gosh. The only, like, single person here is Skylar. We'll go over here and party it up with the DJ. Thumbs down. Oh my gosh. Do you want to go somewhere else then, girl? <laughs> embarrassing not them wearing the same bathing suit let's try a different location because maybe it's the location i don't know let's see where else could we go it's a museum and cafe i don't know if that's the vibe um, let's just go to the one close to our apartment <gasps> it's a karaoke contest let's um oh, uncomfortable um no you're not <laughs> oh my gosh someone's gonna take it before you get there God bless. You beat her. Kill it, girl. Hello? <laughs> now, girl, I don't think you're winning anything, but you're doing great. I don't know why they're all so close to me, but okay. 
40 score. Hey, better better score than I shot thought she would get, you know? Okay, let's come over here. Alice. I forgot I gave you a little makeover with your braid. It's so cute. Listen to S pop. Sure. Now I forget what's upstairs. Let's check this area out. We got foosball, got the bathrooms, got the bubble blowers up there. Very cool. Let's see. Let me at least get you out of your bathing suit, number one. Um, let's go for your little shorts outfit. And I do want to check out up Akira's over there. Ooh, let's grab a poster. Here, let's go, let's go ask him to hang out. Well, I guess he's too far. Um, <laughs> grab a poster. Who's over here? Duke, I don't know if Duke would be your type, but I mean, you can always say hi. Which I will see what drinks she has. Oh, that's a bunch of tea. Let's go to the chamomile. I won? She, she won? I'm surprised she did. With a score of 44? Really? But, you know, I'll take it. 500 extra bucks. I gotta get your tea. I don't mock the facial hair, dude. Here, let's bright and day. You're in front of a bunch of new people and you're just gonna fart like that? I will say, he is a cutie. But yeah, I just don't know if he'd be your type. I mean, I feel like I'd have to give him a makeover and like, not go with my vision I originally had for him. Let's see what we think of it first. Uh, unattractive. Well, that is bust. Oh, she had an uncommon poster too. And a snow globe. Forgot we got the snow globe. Oh wait, grab a poster first. Do we have other snow globes and stuff? <gasps> yes. There's one over here. I love getting this stuff. That's the last of it though. Oh my gosh, it's 1 a.m. We gotta get home. Well, she's gonna get back home, sleep as much as she can, and we will check back in in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Aurora's just making some fruit salad for breakfast. And I totally spaced that. Today's her day off, so... Um, and it's love day. So I think we might take ourselves out. Might go check out the museum. That's also a cafe. Should be pretty fun. Maybe check out a restaurant. To see if maybe someone wants to go on a date. Depending on if we meet somebody out and about. We'll see. And we reached cooking level 3, which is awesome. So there's nothing crazy that we really need to do at the moment. Let me see here. I do really want to uh, get a promotion tomorrow. And then maybe try to... Oh gosh, hello. I get so disoriented sometimes. Definitely try to get a promotion tomorrow. And that'll probably be where we end our episode. I do want to try to like kind of narrow down who we might want to start a family with. Or even like when we should take our vacation to Mount Komorebi. Because I think that could be pretty game changing. I so say we're only level 2 so I feel like... We'll see what happens tomorrow. I feel like we'll definitely get our promotion tomorrow. I think after that, we could take our trip to Mount Komorebi in episode three. We'll just uh, take care of our needs real quick and then maybe go check out that cafe. All right, we are here at Rhodes Museum and Cafe. I found this on the gallery. I'll have to put the links to the IDs of the creators of this and the Stargazer nightclub. I have to put the links for those in the description. But this is so cool. I'm gonna go upstairs. Cause yeah, that's where the cafe is. Um, let's come on up and just wait for the barista to come. Oh, Lana McKinnon. Hello. You seem pretty cool. Let's try to introduce ourselves over here. I I love the like art studio vibe and like like creator space. Oh, you think Lana's very attractive. Um, let's not give, like, a gift. We literally, like, just met her. I'm just trying to, like, talk to this chick, okay? Let's see. Likes and dislikes, good to know. Oh, there's also Knox Greenberg. Give him a friendly introduction, too. He could be our vibe. Let's see what you think of him. Unattractive. Okay, you do not need to talk to, like, a teenager, okay? Um, let's see, funny, tell a funny story. She's pretty cute. Let's see if Lena's down for a little flirt. I say single. <gasps> She's down for it. 
Oh my gosh, let me make sure this is okay. Oh, dang it. We have to be a good friend before we start romancing them. Oopsies, that's okay. Um, promote cause. Yeah, we're just hanging in the bathroom. Judith Ward of all people. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're feeling sick. Stop trying to talk to like teenagers. That's weird. Can I ask you for an autograph, please? Judith. I would love an autograph. <gasps> Thank you so much. Thanks, Judith. Can I um, ask for a selfie? Will you take a picture with me? <gasps> yes. So cool. Thanks, Judith. We love you. Okay, let's do one last sweep of potential people we could get with. No, no one really. Oh my gosh, there's people protesting over here. Can I can I join? Would you be cool with that? Yeah. Even though you're wearing your own shirt. <laughs> What a way to spend love day. Friendly introduction. Friendly introduction. I'm glad we are interesting ourselves to these protesters. Because we have similar minds. Let's get to know a little bit. And same with you, girl. Let's ask about your career. And brighten day. Let's see. I'm pretty sure Catherine was married to Andres. Yeah. Dylan's married, and oh, of course you think he's very unattractive. This is hopeless. <laughs> huh? There's a talent showcase going on at the lounge. Let's go embarrass ourselves. Okay, Akira. I'll take you up on this date. Is this a date? Do we do we act like it's a date? We just we at least have to become good friends with him before we start flirting it up. Sign up at the bar. Do we want to participate? Um, well, let's ask him about his day and like get to know him a little bit. Every just, everybody just be getting pregnant. I have to get you some medicine when we get back to the apartment. Um, tell an unbelievable story. I mean, we're close to being friends with him. So ask about hobbies and skills. Oh, I wish we could bold pick up line. Compliment his outfit. Talk about cooking. I know he's pretty techy, so I feel like we could debate game strategy and have it not be a traumatic failure. Um, share photos. And then, oh, I forgot about the little cheat. We'll take a photo with him. Really bump up that friendship. Who are you? You're my repair person. Good to see you. Sorry that I keep like having to have you repair literally all my electronics, but it's okay. Maybe she's just like, oh, look at all of my photos. Oh my gosh, we don't have them together. We should definitely take one. Oh my gosh, don't sneeze on him. You are falling apart. Yes, here you go. We're going to be covered in spots, but it's okay. I should be like, we're, we're just having a little breakout. It's okay. It's fine. Um, let's do bright. Um, yes, because I love this pose. Oh my gosh, girl, your eyes look so good. Sure. <laughs> sure, girly. <gasps> we just became good friends. Do you know what this means? <gasps> we can flirt with him! Okay, ask him if he's single. He's like, um, of course I am. <laughs> Why would I invite you here if I didn't <laughs> have a girlfriend? A little flirt, compliment his appearance. Say this is gonna be a great love day. We actually get a flirt with somebody. <laughs> Exchange numbers, even though I know you already have one. We have the romance ball. We're doing well. We're doing well. 
Um, let's embrace. Let's see. <gasps> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <gasps> and he hugs back. <gasps> oh, we get first kiss. First kiss. And I will be pausing for a screenshot. Thank you very much. Oh, first kiss of the series. So cute. Who the hell are you? You're not a creeper. Anyways. Wow. Not him doing freaking like <laughs> vocal exercise. Don't give him ten. <laughs> The weirdest date ever. Can we still sign up for the... You can join open mic, I guess. Okay. Let's tell some jokes. She's probably really bad, but you know, she'll try anything. He suggested it. He's like, let's go do it. And she's going to say, hell yeah, I will do that. Oh, what a supportive guy. He's he's just sitting there listening. Like, yes, girl. It's her first open mic. Let's see. He's leaving? Not even a goodbye smooch? Well, our date left us. So, I am going to mark it as done. Because I'm going to consider that a date. Overall, it went pretty well. But yeah, that date was not bad at all. Nice job, Aurora. We will have to catch back up with you either in the morning or after work tomorrow. I was going to check in with you guys when she came back from work, but uh, Akira just walked right into our apartment and started using our computer. Guess we'll find out what he wants after she gets off work. She's got like three hours left. <gasps> she got promoted! Social justice worker. Okay, I'm gonna pause it to read. Aurora has been promoted to social justice worker. She will now make an additional $13 an hour for a grand total of $39 per hour. She also got a $275 bonus. Uh, we can check her cause progress on the computer and some new clothes. Super cute. Um, of course, she's having a fear. And then I wonder if we just start talking to him. We'll see what the deal is. I mean, I love how you're holding an invisible book also. Oh, here, let me just reset you here. Let me brighten your day. I love how you're clipping with that plant. <laughs> oh my gosh, and you're sitting so close to each other. Cuties. I am gonna pause it here and we will continue with episode three uh, with planning our vacation to Mount Coma Rebbe. I know she got promoted and we're supposed to work sad or Sunday. I feel like She'd probably want to celebrate. Plus, uh, the Festival of Youth is tomorrow. Um, I feel like she'd probably want to go to, like, the Festival of Lights. I don't know when that is. I guess the Festival of, of Snow is on Saturday. So maybe we can leave next time, like, first thing in the next part, to go to Mount Komorebi. So we can catch the last little bit of the Festival of Snow. And then we can maybe check out a little bit of the Festival of Youth. And then be back on Monday for work. I will pause that here. We will pick up next time with Aurora going on that trip and possibly seeing where her relationship with her and Akira goes. I am very much looking forward to it. If you want to stick around, you can go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below if you want to see anything else from Aurora here and the series. And I will catch you in the next episode. Bye.